When it comes to trucks, Toyota has it all. Award-winning compact and full-size trucks. Tough, dependable, and including one of the most affordable trucks sold in America. Toyota, the right one for you. If you have type 2 diabetes and your blood sugar is consistently above the American Diabetes Association's take action level of 140, your diabetes is out of control. Call this toll-free number now for a free diabetes information kit about treatment options that may help you take control of your blood sugar. This kit includes important information on how you can manage your type 2 diabetes. Discover how diet, exercise, and medication, if prescribed, can help keep your blood sugar under the critical 140 level. You'll also find questions to ask your doctor. Be sure to take them along. They could help you get the most out of your next visit. So much of the day-to-day -day management of your type 2 diabetes depends on you. Now is the time to take a more active role in your own health care. Don't delay. Take action now. Make an appointment with your doctor and call this toll-free number for your free diabetes information kit today. The Toyota Halftime Report is brought to you by Toyota. Making it happen every day. It's halftime at Loyola. Yeah, the Greyhounds are with us, and the Greyhounds have the lead 6-5 at the half. Loyola came into this game ranked number 10. Syracuse, the defending national champions, they are ranked number one. When we talk about these numbers, number 10, number one, where do they all come from? Well, that's the subject of Rick White's report as we take a closer look at those numbers. Getting jiggy with it. Okay, I know that I don't know all the inner workings of lacrosse, and I know Quint Kesnick. How do you see this one, Quint? Well, all winter I've worked on these keys. Uh... <laughs> and I'm no Quint Kesnick, but trying to figure out the USILA poll sponsored by STX. All I can say is, Help! I need somebody! Help! Last week, Syracuse 5-1 and one was ranked number two. Now, they are number one. Princeton, last week, was number four, with their only loss coming to Syracuse. Now, they're ranked second. Okay. Are you ready for the roller coaster ride? Johns Hopkins is ranked number three after beating Syracuse, but losing to Virginia in four overtimes. Honor Gill spinning, trying to drive out front, and he scores, it's over. Now, Virginia's ranked fourth after beating Hopkins and Maryland. UMass, seven and zero, is number five, but their schedule hasn't been the toughest in the world. They still have to play Georgetown and Syracuse, but right now, they're undefeated. And this is kind of mm -hmm. like an uh, athletic kind of thing, you know. So, Minutemen, much respect. Now, this is a tough one. Chad, pick up the cordons. How are you doing? If you're Maryland, not very well. Maryland was ranked number one. They lose to Virginia in Virginia, and now they're number six. You are a liar! You're a big liar! You are a liar! True. True. Notre Dame, number seven last week. This week, number seven again. Georgetown, last week, number three. Lost to Navy, at Navy, and dropped to eight. Do you understand that? Yes and no. Yes and no. Bucknell went from 13th to 9th, and Loyola, four and two, is ranked number 10 after losing to Towson, ranked 11. Now, I know a lot goes into making the rankings, and the best thing they do in lacrosse is to let the national championship be settled on the field and to let people like me wonder about the polls. Oh, I'm so confused, Quint. And so I, am are I. Are you jiggy with that? Uh, I, you know, the Brian poll, the STX poll, the 360lacrosse.com rankings, inside lacrosse rankings, the coaches poll, the lax power power rankings. It's worse than, than the BCS in football. I, I'm thoroughly confused. Rick, Rick probably knows more about it than I do. I like hearing Earl Weaver in there. I think Earl knows what it's all about. 
All right, this week's Union Memorial Sports Medicine outstanding in the field scholar athlete is Gavin Pratt. Gavin is a Loyola College senior majoring in marketing and carrying a 3.0 grade point average. Union Memorial Sports Medicine congratulates scholar athlete Gavin Pratt for being outstanding in the field. We're at halftime, Loyola on top of Syracuse, 6-5. Next Saturday, Two Sports has double, double the action, action double, double the excitement, excitement in the Toyota Lacrosse Doubleheader. The back-to-back -back battles start at 5 with women's lacrosse. Watch Johns Hopkins take on Maryland. Next in Game 2, the men go head-to-head -head when the Blue Jays face the Terrapins. Scott Garceau, Keith Mills, and Quint Kesnick cover the nonstop action. Maryland, Hopkins, women's and men's lacrosse. The doubleheader begins next Saturday at 5 on Two Sports. When it comes to SUVs and vans, your Toyota dealer has all the right choices. In fact, more SUV choices than anyone. Starting with a very affordable RAV4, all new and priced below last year. Toyota, the right one for you. Let's take a look at some of the first half highlights. Loyola up 6-5. Gavin Pratt with a good first half. Pratt with this goal, the brilliant assist from Michael Sullivan. That made it one-to-one. -one. The extra man for Loyola has been effective. Mike Stromberg does a lot of things for the Greyhounds. Scoring goals isn't usually one of them. Right off the next face off, they win it. They get it to Summers. Back to Stromberg. The bounce shot. 18 seconds later, that was 2-1 to one Loyola. And then the prettiest goal of the game set up by Michael Powell. Mike Powell's got two assists inside to Spencer Wright, who has got two goals for Syracuse. That made it 5-4 to four in favor of the Greyhounds. And then the one that broke the tie made it 6-5. 23 seconds to go. Loyola on an extended possession. They had it all day. Sullivan somehow beats Rob Mulligan to the near side. The Greyhounds emotionally enter the locker room at half up by a goal. Let's take a look at our 360lacrosse.com first half stats. It's time to wake you up. Stats pretty even, but look at the shots. Look at the efficiency for Loyola. They've only taken 10 shots, and yet they have six goals up on the board. That's all that counts. And uh, you see the face-offs, 9-4, to four, about what you would expect. Chris Searcy led the nation last year. He's second this year. The shooting efficiency, Jason Bourne doing a nice job in goal for Loyola. And Mulligan, the highly touted goalie from Syracuse, has got to play a better half. Quint, Quint you uh, touched on it about pushing the pace, and we heard that from John Desco. Let's go down to Keith now with Dave Cottle. Yeah, Dave Cottle just left his team's locker room up 6-5. Dave, uh, well, you have to be real happy with the way you guys have kind of dictated the tempo of this game, huh? Well, we have to run some in order to get some easy ones, but we wanted to walk when we wanted to walk, and, uh, you know, we have the invert right now. We're gonna have, they're going to have to solve it, and we need to control the ball. If the game's played on our offensive end, we have, a, we have a chance. If the game's played on our defensive end, we have no chance. And so if we can steal a face-off or two and continue to control the ball and get good possessions, we're in this game. Did you remind this team that last year up 6-3 up there at the Dome? No question. We said the same thing happened. They picked up the pressure. We didn't backdoor them when we had opportunities. We didn't handle it. We expect the pressure to pick up by them. What we have to do is get a few more possessions on the face-off. And when we get it, you know, we, we're not going to get a lot of opportunities. Yeah. But when we get them, we have to take advantage of them. Okay, Dave Cottle, thank you. His team up 6-5. We'll be back with the second half face-off right after this. The Toyota Lacrosse Game of the Week. Brought to you by Warrior, the means to dominate. 360lacrosse.com, the definitive source. Black World, the lacrosse superstore. And SPX, fastest game, finest gear. If you're a high school student who wants to make an ordinary summer extraordinary, think Johns Hopkins University pre-college program. Earn college credits in writing, science, art, government, computer programming, math, and much more from one of the top universities in America. Meet students from around the world and experience college life all before you graduate from high school. This summer, don't think camp. Think college. Think Johns Hopkins University pre-college programs. Call 410-516-4548 or visit our website at www.jhu.edu slash summer. Gracias, guys. Bartender, what likes for the band? Oh, no. <laughs> For the 
great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down. Make it a Bud Light. Oh, 6-5, the halftime score. All the Greyhounds like the first half. They've got a one-goal lead. And, and Quint, we heard John Desco, when he spoke to Keith, say they want to run that first mid midi uh, bunch from Loyola in the second half. Both coaches were very honest and uh, very technical with us. Dave Cottle wants a slowdown game. He wants to invert the ball behind the cage and attack. Coach Desco now has got to come up with uh, ways to invert, uh, inject some chaos into this game. Make it a more run-and-gun style game because at this rate, uh, he's really playing into the hands of the Loyola Greyhounds. Well, we'll see uh, who can dictate that pace. Dave Cottle told Keith, uh, he said, we want to walk when we want to walk. Right? Yeah, we we'll, walk. we'll run occasionally, but there are times where we just want to slow it down. He also mentioned that invert situation there. Uh, is that something, Quint? That... That's something we've seen in every game this sure, year. Sure. And it just seems that Syracuse is not comfortable covering the invert, and it takes their great checkers. Guys like John Glatzel has been yeah. really a non-factor. Yeah. He's standing on the crease covering an area where he's best covering a man. Good point. Good Violation on the faceoff. Syracuse will have possession. Amazing stats, guys. Loyola have taken 10 shots. Six goals. Six goals. Five in each. Efficient. Five shots in each quarter. They scored three goals in each quarter. So Syracuse with the first possession here as we start the second half. Loyola on top. Six to five. Syracuse averaging over 40 shots per game. Well over 40 shots per game. They're way below their season average with only 15 right now. That's Banks behind the goal, back up on top. Spencer Wright with a couple of first half goals. Soliday trying to muscle, gets a step and scores. Brian Soliday, 6'3", 210. He used his size that time and just hung tough, got a step on the defense and finished and we're tied at six. Soliday unassisted on the near side, bears in his sixth goal of the season. Watch him just lean in, turn the corner, switch hands. The defensive slide is there, but a guy that size, Brasco came in. Watch number seven for Loyola will come in here just with a stick check, right? There. That's not going to stop a guy like Brian Soliday. you got to drop your shoulder and drive him into the turf. Sixth goal on the year for Soliday. A battle for the draw. And Loyola with possession. What a nice play from Radonis Radonis there. is hanging tough, yes, isn't he? Yes, he is. He really is, Quinn. Give him some credit today. That was an effort face-off win right there, it looked like. Willed it. Rain continues to fall here at Loyola. Next week, we've got a doubleheader for you down in College Park. The Maryland women who just win a national championship every year will take on Hopkins. That's a 5 o'clock game, right, Keith? 5 right. o'clock, and then right after that one, we've got uh, Maryland and Hopkins on the men's side. Maryland playing Navy today down at the Naval Academy. Hopkins facing Ohio State. Let's see if Syracuse makes any adjustment. They seem to be content just to pack it in tight. Almost looks like they're in his own defense again. Summers uh, near side to prop behind the goal. That's Gettleman. Loyola will be content to pass the ball around here for a minute or two. Yeah, interesting. Quint, does Desco, is he going to settle in for, does he think right now this is the way this game is going to be? There have been five ties in this game. It's 6-6 now. Is he saying, hey, this is going to be one of those games? We're not going to win by five. We're not going to score 15 goals. Or... That's the way he, he's coaching right now. I mean, if Loyola ever fell behind, they could not utilize this offense. But when the score is tied or they're sure. up by a couple goals, this really works in their favor. Brout got stripped. Stesson, yeah, great yeah, Stesson. Stesson. The tempo of this game has been such oh. that we haven't even seen a second midfield from Loyola. Yeah, With the TV timeouts and the, and the control of the game, Loyola's only had to play about 14 or 15 players. John Desco was screaming for the call down there, and he may have influenced the guys in the stripes because yes, he, he got it. Watch Desco down here after the hit. It's going to be a hold or a push on Gunnar Gettleman right along the Syracuse bench. Desco lobbied hard. Good call, Quint. Yeah, yeah, he definitely... He definitely pushed him, but... Definitely pushed him. Trigger man on the extra man will be Mike Powell from up top. So Syracuse with a chance to take the lead now with the man advantage. 
The Orange been five and one on the year. Number one in the polls, defending national champs. And they're getting all they want today from uh, Dave Connell's Greyhounds. There's an errant pass, but uh, able to run it down is Brian Knee. Looks like Mike Armstrong always picked up his left hand. <laughs> Instinctively, it bounced next to it. Teams back to even strength. And Springer, nicely done by the Loyola shorthanded defense who struggled against Notre Dame. I thought they played a, a really solid game last week. Towson was three of 11, yeah. which is pretty good defensively. And so far this game, they're doing a uh, nice job against a very, very dangerous oh. Syracuse unit. I'm surprised Springer didn't take that shot the first time yeah. he touched it on the far side. It looked like he had time and room, really could open up and uncork that, uh, that shot which in turn would draw the Loyola defense out to him and create some openings underneath. Do you have a 10 second yeah. call here, Quinn? No, what, not, what, not since they're out of the box. This, okay. is, this is kind of a no man's land right there. Corsi now into the attack zone. Tied at six, 11.20 to play, third quarter. In the last possession, Loyola milked about a minute, did not get a shot, we'll see what happens here. Diamond, diamond, diamond! Now you can milk all the clock you want, Quinn, but eventually you have to get a shot. <laughs> Sullivan running laps. Syracuse not sending their short stick defenders behind the cage to cover the invert. They're keeping their short sticks up top. So now Loyola backs out of their invert and they'll control from up top. So Loyola. So ju constant adjustments. Exactly. Made. Loyola wants to attack guys like Coffin, number 32. Yeah. Guys like 40. Schmitz. Schmitz has played a pretty solid game. They had a deflection early, scooped up a loose ball. Sullivan motion and Horsey out. Gotta play two! Coffin playing, interesting playing on his outside shoulder, almost forcing him to the goal in that quit. I, I, I am, I'm shocked that Syracuse is content just to sit and watch Loyola pass the ball around the outside. Yeah, that's interesting. Sullivan and a save from Mulligan. Well, maybe that'll get Mulligan fired up. His real first quality save of this game. He's an emotional goalie. He's a streaky goalie. He makes the save. Not much angle for Sullivan, who drops down low and then shoots up high. And then steps in the crease Steps as well. in the crease right there afterwards. So Good Mulligan, possession, though. maybe that'll fire up Mulligan. But good. Loyola does kill some clock. Yeah, good yeah. patient possession. They got a good shot. They've shortened the 60-minute oh, game no doubt down, about down it. to about a 40 or 30-minute game. No doubt about it. Get him under! Go, 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 go! Over here, keep down the side. Maybe overanalyzing the situation. Is Desco willing to play this kind of game, thinking that he might have to in the tournament? I was thinking about that also. Uh, Drop down, Sully! Drop down, Sully! He's clearly showing today that his identity is going to be a half, a half field. Uh, half. Oh, what a pass. Great oh. pass, and just a slam dunk inside for Liam Banks. Banks on the board, and Syracuse takes the lead at 7-6. Tom Hardy set it all up. Hardy with the great pass through traffic. Banks will sneak from behind the goal. The, the initial shot blocked by the outer defense. Right to Hardy. Oh. And see Banks sneak from behind the goal, tiptoeing the crease. He perches himself just to Bourne's right. Here it is again. Hardy, terrific assist down low. The banks. Syracuse's first lead since they led one to nothing. We're back. The Orangemen on top, seven six. to cars, Toyota has it all. Better quality, better value, and all the right choices. Starting with one of the lowest priced cars in America, Toyota, the right one for you.
scholar athletes here from Loyola College <laughs> leading the cheers. Quint, do you know, do you know him? No. Okay. <laughs> I already got kicked out of Hopkins. So he's over here now. <laughs> Another face-off one by Cersei. So now, Cyril oh, got a great away. strip. Yeah, Proud, I think, got a stick on it. was a Proud again. But the Orangemen get it back. And here they come into the attack zone. Yeah, that's Glatzel, Scott, the pow. Now Syracuse in, in, really in charge for the first time since early in this game. In control of this game right now. Loyola has controlled the tempo in, the, in this early stage of the third quarter. They just haven't finished their shot. I think they've only taken one shot. One shot, I believe, in this, this quarter, if that. Yeah, that was for, uh, it was on Sullivan. Or by Sullivan. Powell and Banks playing behind the goal. There's the cutter and a shot and an easy score for Michael Springer. Little left-hander, and it's a two-goal lead. Springer from Banks, three in a row for Syracuse University. A terrific set play. They get the ball up top, down the side behind. Springer cuts from the top to the bottom left-handed, very similar to an earlier goal he scored on an assist from Powell. Springer second goal of the game. Banks now has been involved in the last two Syracuse goals. But well executed play and no hesitation as to what play they were going to run. Bang, bang off the face off or off the clear, I should say. The thing I like about Springer and his shooting from the outside, he gives you the velocity, can nail the corner. But from the inside, he shows touch. the control. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He's got the touch. Much like a quarterback who can throw the long pass and the short. Mm -hmm. you know, it, it's, he just understands how to shoot. And again, Syracuse controls the face off. They've outscored Loyola 3-0 here in the second half. Loyola was up 6-5 at half, now trail 8-6. This is when they're going for the jugular, jugular bang. Syracuse is win the draw, keep the yep. pressure on. Yeah, make it, take it. Yep. They scored five of the last six goals. Powell right out front. Good pass, and Springer had a great look. You don't see Springer miss the goal very often. His feet weren't really set. He was kind of backpedaling as he caught it. What a crisp pass from Paolo. Crowd kind of quiet, wondering what this kind of run, where, where it's going to lead here. Will, Sy will Syracuse stretch it and take control, or will Loyola battle back? Loyola content to play zone. Banks looking out front. Look at all the traffic in front of the goal. Uh, Powell out on the right wing. Spencer right with it. Quite a different game than we saw last week, Quinn. Up and down, end to end, ton of shots, a lot of goals. This has been totally different. Last week's game was exciting. I mean, it, was, it was exciting. It was a street fight, 33 total goals. Billy Brasco there poked it away, but uh, Syracuse gets it back. Oh, Syracuse leading in shots this quarter. Four to one, we played half the quarter, more than half the quarter. Look at Powell trying to shake and bake inside. Towson plays Hofstra today. That is a team with tremendous upside potential. They're young, they have an identity, they have goals, achievable goals in mind, and they are just improving yeah, every week. Yeah. Well, the Greyhounds need a little momentum change here. Got Maybe that'll help the turnover. John Desco wondering, yeah. So the stick was ball was may have been deflected. clearly deflected. The officials actually gave Syracuse a stalling violation on that last possession. And because the ball comes out of the box, it'll be Loyola ball. I can't believe they called stalling. I really thought Syracuse was attacking. Yeah, I didn't think yeah. they, were, they were being overly patient. Because Powell pressed the corner. There's they're a deflection by Stromberg. I mean, they're, they're, giving what, they're taking what the defense has given them. I agree with you. I, I, I thought that. Goals I mean, I see what Loyola's doing offensively as being sure. kind of stalling. What Syracuse did, did on that possession, they were not stalling. Crucial clear here now by Loyola, and they do it. Brasco going in. Boy, that was a big play by Brasco. Gentleman gets it near side to Summers, and Loyola kind of uh, really need to yeah, light need something up here. Yeah, sure. Reverse that tide. 
Ouch. Gavin Pratt just about taken down. Looks back at the official. Schmitz, number 40. We mentioned his name a few times today. Oh, and a behind-the-back oh. shot and a score. Chris Summers, a sophomore, with a behind-the-backer from Gavin Prout. And maybe that's the spark the Greyhounds needed near the third quarter. Summers, second goal. Prout involved. It was about a nine-minute scoring drought for the Greyhounds. Summers from St. Mary's down in Annapolis. The right-hander can do it all. Mulligan from close range, really no chance on this. Here's Prout. His man had left him yeah. to go inside, and Summer somehow snuck on the back door. You can see Syracuse with three defenders there, but no one really marking up on yeah. Summer. Some confusion, obviously, for the orange in front. And here's your behind the back uh, yeah. goal. I'll, I'll raise you one, and let's see what you can do to answer. Penalty marker. Ball was loose. It's going to be a slash on 27 for Loyola. Yeah, that's Chris Mandarino. Mandarino was playing the wing. Slashed him so hard, the head of his stick came flying off. That's a pretty good sign. You got Not only do you catch some heat from the coaches, you got to sit in the penalty box and then wonder where your next stick's going to come from. Uh, Proud on that assist, his third point of the game. Two goals and assist for him. And Summers, third point as well. He has an assist and two goals. And again, the pressure on Loyola's extra man defense here. That's Punk. a tough penalty. You just, yeah, just kind of man. got a big goal to cut it to one, and now you're playing down a man. Orange men looking it over. Brian Nee, who's been a big part of that extra man offense. I get cold sweats watching Syracuse on the extra man. <laughs> the patterns are identical. Oh, there's a shot and a score. A bullet from Josh Kaufman. Kaufman faked the pass up top. It's called the box fake, where you kind of snap your wrist. The defense turned. Bourne might have lost his concentration for a second. He reset his feet and fired it over the shoulder, straight over it. That fake right there, yep. that's all it takes. If the goalie takes his head off the head of your stick, he's got to refocus on the ball. Watch the fake. And then Bourne guesses. You can see the initial move with yeah. Jason Bourne was down with the hands and not up towards the ball. Top shelf, yep. That's like a ball fake in basketball, right? Just give them a little look. And now that depth and balance, Quince, we're starting to see that in the uh, Syracuse attack. Kaufman gets on the board. Springer has a couple already. Banks, a goal and an assist. Powell been involved all day. They come at you, don't they? Ooh. Good battle here on a loose ball, and here comes Syracuse. Good recovery by Loyola there. Nice job by John Speck, number 41, tying up Springer in transition. Loyola read that well because Cersei, the face-off specialist, not known to be a great shooter, so they kind of gave him territory, and then when he threw it to Springer, they just attacked Springer. Interesting there, Quint, Michael Powell's got an entire half a field to work with one-on-one, -on -one, instead opt to pull it out and play. Ball control here. Interesting. If I had to pay to get in here today, I'd like to see my pal. Yeah, right. yeah, no doubt about it. I don't think Jason Bourne would like that, but uh, I think the crowd would. Nice skip pass there. And remember John Desco saying in one of the timeouts, look for the skip pass. Look for the skip pass. Springer cutting through on that oh, last play. play. What a great play. Old school give and go. Well, yeah, Springer great, yeah. to Banks, back to Springer. Simple as it gets. Back behind the goal. Banks, they work it back up on top. Springer, you see him. He's easy to spot. 6-4. Kind of sticks out from the crowd. Left hand shot knocked down by Brasco. Brasco hacking and whacking. Boy, he, is he not? <laughs> He's hitting people and swing. Oh, it's a scrum right there. <laughs> that was a good sequence. And here comes Loyola. Summers has trouble with the handle. He gets checked down. And a timeout. It's going to be a loose ball push okay. against Syracuse. Summers was hit from behind. Brasco making Hardy, things happen. Think, made yeah. Yeah. Terrific flurry by John Brasco. Really responsible for that whole uh, flurry there. Brasco, former uh, Hopkins player, transfer to Loyola. 320 left in the third, 9-7 Syracuse with a two-goal lead on Loyola. Loyola was up a goal at the half. Time of possession in this quarter, really on the oh, side yeah, of Syracuse. No doubt. One of the few times Loyola's touched the ball this quarter. 
I believe they've taken two shots this quarter. One was a goal. Sullivan looking, firing and high. Loyola likes that matchup. Sullivan, the left-hander, dodging against Dan Stesson, number four. Stesson only 5'9", 177. Senior from West Genesee High School. Gettleman back to Prout. It's a good matchup for Prout also against Stesson. Of course, he's been pretty quiet on the offensive end today. Oh, what a play. That was a terrific set play where Prout flashed to the backside, the feed from Sullivan, and Prout actually hit that off the iron. He hit the post. Summers lost his stick down there. He's out of the play. Guess who? Prout with a yep. steal. To Gettleman. And they'll settle. Gettleman tempted. it. Kind of thought otherwise. Looked like he didn't yeah, have two the players off, yeah, yeah. off to the side that weren't back in the play yeah. yet. Boy, Prout continues to make big plays. Two minutes left in the third quarter. Get down, Danny, get down. Get ball. Look behind you. Get in, get in. Prout look inside and a left-hand score. Steven Brundage, the freshman, on the doorstep and a good couple of crisp passes set that goal up. Brundage from Gettleman, the same exact play that they did to Prout that hit the post. They do it the other side and it works. And you can see Brundage sneaking in the backside. The freshman catches the great pass from Gettleman. We've got a one goal game. 9-8, we're back right after this. Trucks. Toyota has it all. Award-winning, compact, and full-size trucks. Tough, dependable, and including one of the most affordable trucks sold in America. Toyota, the right one for you. A bank is more than just a place to keep your money. It's a part of your community and your life. At Baltimore County Savings Bank, we take pride in the communities we serve. That's why we offer a variety of mortgages to buy and refinance your home and fixed-rate home equity loans or lines of credit to obtain your financial goals. Visit one of our many convenient locations or call 410-256-5000 for more information. Baltimore County Savings Bank, locally owned and operated, growing to meet your needs. Under Armour, performance apparel for the world's greatest athletes and those who aspire to join them. 9-8, Syracuse up a goal. Terrific offensive possession for Loyola College. The first chance hits the post, then they run the identical play on the far side. And right there is Brundage converting from Gettleman. Nice possession by Loyola College. They had been being dominated there for about an eight-minute stretch, yeah. but they fought back. 147 left. Searcy is tough. Yeah. Searcy does it again. But Prout got a stick back on it, had it for a while. And the orange control, a little roller to the left side into the attack zone. Cersei just rolled that out to space, yeah. much like soccer, put it out to space. And there's a save from Jason Bourne. A good outlet yeah. to Braxo. Brasco, yep. Yeah, yeah. Brasco. Oh, tough pass.